So several things went wrong there. <laughs> Fuck off. I never want to do that again. That's bullshit, Beer Tiki. I'm talking bullshit. <laughs> Hey there, Hopheads, and welcome to the shed. Even Star here with another beer in review for you. And today we have Station X from the Concrete Cows Brewery of Milton Keynes. I got this bottle of beer when we visited uh, Bletchley Park a few weeks ago. Um, this is what computer geeks do on their weekends, by the way. <laughs> so, without further ado, I'm gonna crack this open and get this show on the road, shall we? That's the label there. Let's see. Ah. Oh. So that is a nice amber color there. Oh, I can kind of smell it. Um, even from here, sort of a malty citrus smell. Yeah, kind of. Actually, it's more um, malty, sort of a white chocolate and, and bourbon. Mmm, very intriguing. Very bitter up front. Definitely some nice malts in there. That chocolatiness, that sort of white chocolate, milk chocolate, chocolatiness, um, actually does kind of come out in the middle, but it's not too sweet. And then at the back, there's kind of a metallic, coppery tang. I quite like that. Um, like I say, it's um, uh, more hoppy than malty, uh, which, uh, with that color, kind of surprised me. Um, if you're wondering why sort of the lighting in the camera position has changed, um, it's because I forgot to put the memory card in, and I had to move everything. So, sorry about that. Where was I? Oh yes, I was blathering about beer. I would say that this is uh, definitely a beer that you want to have with, with food. Uh, I find it uh, a bit too strong, with a strong that strong bitter edge uh, to um, sort of just quaff. Um, it's not like a sit in the sun or the beer garden and you know, sip away at it. I think that needs to go with food. Um, and like, I think that would be a nice rich carbonara. Uh, something that, that dryness, because it's got a very sort of, it's not astringent, but sort of a very, very mouth drying effect um, from the bitterness. Uh, so something sort of rich and creamy and savory to kind of go with. It's a very, um, what I would say is a savory beer. Uh, there's sort of a um, very, that very green bitter in there, sort of like chive or sage. Um, so yeah, that's one to put on the table. Um, Station X, Pale Ale. Cheers to Mr. Turing. Until next time, I'm Even Star. you're in the sheds, and this is the Beer in Review. So if you're wondering about the name of this beer, uh, Station X Pale Ale, and what the significance of the label might be, we've got sort of a, um, a very smiley lady uh, in sort of 1940s attire, um, telling us it's top secret, uh, and she's sitting in front of, uh, it almost looks like a Moog synthesizer, but um, a machine with a bunch of dials on it, and then in the background behind her, sort of another bank of dials. 
Um, Station X was, an, was another name for Bletchley Park, which is where I obtained this beer. Um, and Bletchley Park, if you're familiar with uh, your computing history, your World War II history, or your spy stuff history, um, you will know was what they call the home of the code breakers during World War II in Great Britain. Um, I think it um, might be uh, sort of a little nearer to the, to the surface of people's consciousness um, these days uh, due to the film that came out I think a year or two ago called The Imitation Game, which was the story of Alan Turing, the father of modern computing science and artificial intelligence, um, and his colleagues uh, who helped to build these machines and decipher the, um, the codes of the German and Access Power Enigma machines. And the machines that you see here um, were called uh, BOMBS, B-O-M-B-E. Um, and if you're interested in the origin of that, um, well, there's always Wikipedia, but you can visit Bletchley Park and find out for yourself. Um, these were not actually used to decipher the messages um, coming in they were used to figure out how the messages were enciphered. So they were used to figure out what um, numbers and letters were used to encrypt the messages that were being intercepted so that the um, Enigma machine in the possession of the British at Bletchley Park could have the right settings put into it and then have the messages deciphered. and. That um, cipher changed every 24 hours, so um, that's why they needed to build a big computer because to try and figure out, um, based on the number of combinations of in uh, letters and numbers to encrypt the messages, um, a human couldn't do it in 24 hours. Humans couldn't do it in 24 hours, and um, Figuring that out and building machine to do it, they say, um, shortened World War II by at least two years, saving hundreds and thousands of, of lives all over the world. Cheers to Mr. Turing.